It doesn't surprise me hugely when I read this. For Superdry, it's a real shame, isn't it? Because they employ a lot of people all over the world. They're a global brand. I mean, it's quite a swing when you look at their um, profit from last Mm -hmm. year compared to what they've announced as a pre-tax loss for this year. So I I just think it's a massive shame, actually. And I I think companies really need to look at their business models and prepare for these sorts of events in the economy because they happen. Uh, They're cyclical, um, you know, they're to be expected. And I think, you know, Superdry's product range and its approach has from my perspective stayed very similar they've kind of stayed on the same track for years and years and years perhaps there's an argument to say that they need to consider other avenues of, of revenue a different uh, a product range that's maybe for the on the sort of lower end price bracket um, and just try and sort of maybe establish a wider range of things to appeal to different consumers at or at times like this where people are cutting back on how much they might spend on their clothing it's kind of evolve or die isn't it